In this video, I want to give you a chance to try a couple of problems where we use fundamental theorem of calculus part one. Fundamental theorem just uh, establishes the relationship between a uh, integral and a derivative, that they're basically inverses. The derivative of an integral is the function. I put a times one here because as long as there's a constant as the lower bound and an x is the upper bound, we always multiply by the derivative of the upper bound. Derivative of x is just one. So here, if we uh, are asked to find the derivative of the integral from 2 to x squared of the cosine of t to the fifth power, the easiest way to do this is just to say, well, it's going to be that original function, but we're going to have plugged x squared, the bound in, to the function. It's still to the fifth power because it was t to the fifth. And then we're going to multiply by the derivative of that bound, which was 2x. We, of course, could clean this up a little bit and say it's 2x times the cosine of x to the 10th. But that is the fundamental theorem part one. We're finding the derivative of the integral, which eliminates the integral piece, but then the bound would be substituted in, and we'd multiply by the derivative of the bound. All right, here are two examples. Pause the video here and try those on your own. If this helps you, please like and subscribe for more math help. I have whole playlists about calculus A, B, and B, C. Okay, here's how I would do these problems. I'm taking the derivative of the integral, so I know the original function is going to be just spit out this t cubed, but the bound will have been put in. So it's going to be the sine of x cubed. But then I also have to multiply by the derivative of that bound because of chain rule, because I plug the bound in and then I find the derivative. So there it is. Now this one you'll notice, the second one, that I have uh, put the constant on top and the variable piece on the bottom. Well, this is an easy fix to go the way we've been doing. I'm going to just do that, and that's just going to make a negative. So then, it's going to have a negative sign. The x squared is going to be plugged in. And then multiply by the derivative of that bound. So if you wanted... could do that. Again, this is just establishing this relationship. The easy way to remember to do this is just always substitute the bound in for t and then multiply by the derivative of the bound. Please like and subscribe for more help.